Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about eukaryotic gene prediction. Like the prokaryotic gene prediction, in the regular lectures, we have discussed in detail about the main features of the eukaryotic gene and the algorithms which can be used to make a prediction about the eukaryotic genes. In this tutorial, we are going to use the FGenes Edge software. This software is based on HMM pattern recognition system. At this point, we are expecting it that you guys would have a good idea about HMM pattern recognition system. HMM stands for the Hidden Markov Model. To access this tool, you need to come to the softberry.com website and then you need to click on this drop down button in front of Run Program Online. When you will click on this drop down button, you will have a menu, and in this menu, you need to click on Gene Finding in Eukaryotes. When you will click on this one, then you will move to the next page and on this page, you will have a multiple softwares available which can be used to make a prediction about the eukaryotic genes. Among these tools, right now we are interested in FGenes Edge and in the description in front of FGenes Edge, you can see that this is based on H HMM pattern recognition system. We will simply click on FGenes Edge. And when we will click on this F genes edge, we will land to the next page, which is dedicated for F genes edge. Here, we will paste our nucleotide sequence for which we want to make a prediction about the eukaryotic gene. For this tutorial, we have a DNA sequence from a chromosome number 11 of the human. And we want to make a prediction that is there any gene present in this sequence? So what we will do, we will simply select and copy this whole sequence and we will paste this sequence here in this box. Then after pasting the sequence here in the organism tab, we will select our organism from where, from where this sequence has been taken. As I told you earlier that this sequence belongs to the human. So we will here, we will select the humans. And then we will simply click on this search button or the submit button. Then we will click on the search button or the submit button. After a few moments, we will have the results about our submitted DNA sequence. As you can see it here, that the FGenes Edge predicted total 10 genes in our submitted sequence. And in these 10 genes, there are total 21 exons are also predicted. So the details about these predicted genes are given here in the table below. As you can see it here, and this is, this is gene number one, this is gene number two, this is gene three, and so on and on. And the last there is going to be gene number 10. Now you can actually see the plus sign here in the, next, in the second column. Now this plus sign is indicating the strand. As you know it very well that in DNA there are the two strands and one strand is known as the plus strand while another strand is known as the minus strand and this prediction is made on a plus strand then on the third uh, column you can see the different features like here we are going to have TSS the TSS stands for what the TSS stands for the transcription star site and then we are going to have CDS. The CDS stands for the coding sequence. As you can see it here that there are the three coding sequence in the gene one or in other words there are the three exons in the gene one. And finally at the end you can see the pole A. The pole A stands for the uh, poly A signal which is present normally at the downstream uh, region of the genes. So this is a complete gene see, uh, features. Similarly for the second gene we are going to have TSSS which is a transcription start side. Then there are the three coding sequences or the exon and finally there is a polyase signal. And for the rest of the 10 sequences we are going to have a same idea. For the gene 10 there is only a one coding sequence and what does it mean? It means that in the gene 10 there is only a one exon. In the next column we are going to have an idea about the start 
side of the uh, transcription start side and then we are going to have an idea about the uh, start position from where the coding sequence uh, 1 or the exon 1 is going to begin and where the exon 1 is going to end similarly from where the exon 2 is going to begin and from where the exon through a uh, 2 is going to end and same is about the exon 3 and same is about the poly a signal in this score column there is going to be a score uh, for the prediction accuracy and we are not going to talk about that score in this tutorial then we are going to have the ORF the ORF stands for what the ORF stands for the open reading frame so this is basically the length of an open reading frame which is mentioned here column is a length column and this length column is telling us about the total length of the coding sequences or exons. As you can see it here in gene 1, the first exon is 90 nucleotide long, the second exon is 222 nucleotide long, while the third exon is 129 nucleotide long. If you come below the table on this page, then you can have a full length gene sequence so this is a full length coding sequence of a gene 1 and and the below you could also have the protein sequence which is which is going to be formed by this gene so uh, these are the there is going to be the 10 gene sequences and as well as the 10 protein sequences present below this table on this prediction page we hope so that after watching that video tutorial, you will be able to make a prediction by using the FGenes Edge tool. Now, one thing which we want to clarify it here that these are just a predictions, and these predictions can be right and they can be wrong. You need to verify these genes by using certain other techniques. We hope so that this tutorial will be helpful for you. Stay tuned with us for the more informative tutorials.